Hello and welcome back everybody to yet another Elden Ring Showcase. Today I've got a real treat for you because we're going to be taking a look at the infamous Ice Rind Hatchet. Now, in case you want to get this weapon for yourself, you can simply jump on Torrent and make your way to the Temple Quarter, just due west of the South Raya Lucaria Gate. You'll find it in a chest, inside of a collapsed bell tower. And with that out the way, let's jump straight into the video. If we take a look at the stats for this blade, we can see that this Frosty Axe packs a heavy physical attack of 127, and has a very light weight of only 3. It has an e-scaling in strength, and an e-scaling in dexterity. However, upgrade this blade to plus 10, and you'll be dashing out an incredible 271 EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! It will also now have an improved d-scaling in strength, and b-scaling in dex. Not only that, but this weapon also causes 65 points of frost buildup. And that's per hit, which is great news for you, and bad news for everyone else. This axe also scales with dexterity, so I would advise that you put all of your points into dex, and maybe a few into intelligence for the frost. For some reason, when recording this, the weapon art for the weapon didn't really show up on the screen, but the enemies still took damage, and the frost build up, so I don't know what's up with that, but yours will look much cooler when you use it. Also, did you know that this weapon does an additional 20% damage against dragon type enemies? I have no idea why, but you know what they say, knowledge is power. Anyway, hopping back to the subject of weapon arts, we can see that the Ice Rind Hatchet has just the one, and it's called Hallfrost Stomp. When used, you will perform, you guessed it, a stomp, that will spread a trail of freezing mist on the ground, applying the frost effect to anyone unfortunate enough to cross paths with it. Once you've used the Hallfrost Stomp, quickly hit your enemy to deal massive amounts of damage at once. The rage of the stomp is also massive, so you can end up staggering loads of targets at once. This is very helpful for crowd control. And finally, we're going to be taking a look at a build around this blade that you can make for yourself. Because, to be honest, when I went online, I found one Reddit post and one video which was very vague, so I definitely had to throw it in at the end of my video. Anyway, without any further ado, you'll want to go and grab yourself the following four talismans. First off, the Prestesis Wearer Heirloom. Second, the Career Philic Reed Crest. Third, the Shard of Alexander, and finally, Millicent's Prestesis. These, in the order that they were read out, will raise Dexterity, lower FP consumed by skills, greatly boost attack power of skills, and boost Dexterity and raise attack power with successive strikes. Or, alternatively, you could equip the Ancestral Spirit Horn Talisman, which will restore FP upon defeating your enemies. But, I'll leave it up to you to choose. And hopefully, with these four talismans and the Ice Rind Hatchet in hand, you can freeze your foes and show them that Frost bites back. And that should about do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop us a like down below. If you have any questions, be sure to drop us a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, or you want to support me as a content creator, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I'm Damien, keep it cool, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!